Hello, my name is Stacy with Aspen Fitness and Nutrition. Welcome to today's video on shoulders, stretching our shoulders out, working our shoulders through our range of motion. As a society, we sit a lot, right? And we sit on our computers and we sit on our phones. What does that do to our shoulders? It brings everything forward. So the exercises we're gonna do today are gonna open up the chest, open up the upper back a little bit, and get our shoulders working through their range of motion. Remember, as we stretch, listen to your body. Stretching should not hurt. And remember to breathe. The stretching that we are going to do is static stretching. We do no bouncing. We breathe through our range of motion. All right, so start with the warm up. I want you to go ahead and plant your heels. We're gonna do just a little seated cat and cow. So I want you to plant your heels. I want you to grab your hamstrings. I want you to sit up nice and tall, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to see curve back, tuck your chin into your chest. Good, inhaling up tall. And as you exhale, see curve back, round those shoulders. Good, two more, inhaling up. Exhale, C curve back. Last one at tall. And C curve back. Good. Just a little bit to warm up the spine a little bit. You may need a blanket or if you have a bolster or if you have a foam roller, go ahead and grab that or even a yoga mat rolled up. We're going to do an exercise here at the end to open up our chest a little bit. So if you need to pause the video and grab Grab something that we can roll up. It can be a beach towel rolled up lengthwise as well. We're gonna do some exercises to really open up that chest. All right, so we warmed up our back with a little, and our shoulders with a little cat and cow. I want you to go ahead and lie on your side. So we're gonna go ahead and lie on our right side first. And you can use your blanket if you have it. You can use it as a little belt, okay, to help keep your spine in line. So I want you to roll onto your right side. I want you to take both arms, out in front and I want you just well first what we're going to just do is open the book so I want you just to take that arm and open it up to the outside good and then bring it back to the center so as we do these stretches into mobility work we're just going to open it up and bring it back to the center good open up nice wide chest oh good pull it back you notice as I open up, I'm just moving my upper body. Okay, your head can come with you. It doesn't matter here. I'm just opening up that chest, shoulder caps a little bit, bring it back in. And last time, open it up. And bring it back over. Good, let's go ahead and flip sides. So we're gonna do on the other side. And as we go through these, as I mentioned, you're going to find one side may be a little bit tighter than the other. One side may be a little bit looser. Both arms out in front, hands together. Open it up. Oh, nice. And pull it back in. Good. Open the chest. And as we go through our range of motion, you can do a big rainbow open. Reach back. You do not have to touch the floor. I want you to go through your range of motion and then come back to the center. You can pull back and open it up. Whatever's more comfortable for you, it all gets to the same, same location and back. Good, two more, open tall. Nice. And back. Last one, open it up. And bring it back. Good. I want you to go ahead and sit up slowly. You can sit however you are most um, comfortable. I want you to take your left hand out in front, flat palm, grab under that left arm, pull it across your chest, look over the shoulder. Posterior cuff stretch. So. We are stretching the back of the shoulder here. Drop that shoulder from your chin so not everything's not up tight here. Nice deep breaths. 
Good, coming back to the center, switch sides. Right hand out, flat palm, grab underneath, pull it across, look over that shoulder and jaw. Again, you may find one side's a little bit more flexible than the other. And that makes total sense. This is how we even ourselves out a little bit because we do each side. Good, come back to the center. Now we're working on our shoulders, but part of our shoulders is also our arm muscles. So we're gonna go ahead and do a tricep stretch. So I want you to go ahead and take that left arm up and over. And I want you to grab your hand and pull it across, grab your elbow and pull it across behind your head. Good, you wanna keep your spine nice and tall so we're not leaning forward. We should have a nice stretch in that tricep, even getting into that shoulder joint. Nice deep breaths here. Good, bring it down, switch sides up. You can pull here, you can grab behind. Send oxygen to those muscles as we breathe. Nice deep breaths. Good, bringing it back down, nice. Now the last two exercises we're gonna do on the floor are just some external rotations, I call them touchdowns. And then we're going to take your blanket or your towel, your mat, whatever you have, okay? Let's go ahead and take what we're going to use as our mat. I want it to be as long as your spine, okay? So this is about as long as my spine, and I want you to roll it up, okay? This one, you can see the diameter here. Um, about the size of a yoga mat. If you don't have anything this tall, it does not have to be this tall. You can progress. Um, like I said, a towel, a beach towel rolled up works very nicely as well. So we're gonna set this to the side because we're gonna use it in a minute. But I want you to go ahead and lie on the floor. Feet are flat. Head and neck relaxed. I want you to take your elbows out so they are even with your shoulder joint. And I want you to take the back of your hands towards the floor. Good, hold it here. The back of my hands should reach the floor without my wrists bending, okay? I can, we all can get to the back of the floor here with my wrists bent. But if I keep my wrists straight, can I get there? Good, coming back up. Great thing about this exercise, and we'll do it again, is that my shoulder blades can't help me because they're locked in on the floor here. So we are, are we the same on each side? One side different than the other? Good, come back up. We're gonna do one more. Take it back. Breathe. Keep that elbow at 90 degrees so I'm not opening up, which will make it easier. Keep those elbows at 90. Good, come back to the center. Now, this one's a little bit harder. Can I come down without lifting my shoulder up off the ground? So I want you to come down until you, your shoulder starts to come off the ground and then just hold it. Come back to neutral position with your fingertips to the ceiling. Come down, keep those shoulder blades on the floor. Don't let that shoulder come up. You're gonna see really quick, one side is a little bit easier than the other. Come back up to 90. Last one, think of your hands as a clock. Where are you getting on your clock? You getting a little bit farther as we go through? And come back up. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and take our what we are using for our mat here. It is rolled up. And I want you to go ahead and lie on it. Okay, so from your tailbone all the way back, I want you it to support your head and neck. So if you need a little something a little bit longer, and I want you just to open up your chest. Okay? Chest is open, knees are bent. You should feel a nice stretch in your chest. Right, so I feel a nice stretch in my pectoral muscles up right here. Chest is open. Nice deep breaths. Be sure you have this the length of your spine. 
If you don't have it the length of your spine, grab something that can support your head all the way from my skull to my pelvis. Okay, I don't want my back to be sinking on the floor or my head to be, this shouldn't, stretching or anything that we do should not cause any more pain. Well, my neck is sore because I stretched my shoulders. No. So keep everything together. We're just gonna stay here for a few more seconds. You can really feel a stretch opening up your chest. Nice deep breaths. Passive stretch, I'm not moving. And I'm timing myself. A couple more seconds. Good. Now as you go ahead, get up, you can just go ahead and roll up and sit up tall. Now you do not always need something, okay? You can just lay flat on your back with your chest open and that opens up the chest a little bit. So throughout your day, I really want you to think about your posture, pulling your shoulders back and down away from your ears, sitting tall. Is that hard? Yeah, it is because we're not used to using those muscles, okay? So practice it. You don't have to do it all day, every day, but just for a few minutes, you're like, okay, let me work on my, my posture talk. Work on your stretches. You can do those stretches easily throughout the day. Take the time to work through the different muscle groups of your body as you stretch throughout the week. I have a series of videos that goes through hamstrings, quads, hips, and shoulders. 10 minutes a day, go through each muscle group, hamstrings on Monday, quads on Tuesday, hips on Wednesday, shoulders on Thursday. Take the time each day to work through each muscle group, work it through its range of motion. It will make a big difference. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, I'm Stacy with Aspen Fitness and Nutrition. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to subscribe and like, and I will see you again next time.